Millions and millions of Americans are lining up to take a chance on a giant dream, a Powerball ticket that could be worth more than half a billion dollars, the biggest in its history. The drawing is tonight. And some people have been willing to wait two and a half hours in the long lines in Arizona, while coast to coast, tickets are flying across the counters, 130,000 sold every minute. And that adds up to 7 million tickets sold every hour. So we ask ABC's Steve Osinsami to make his way into the vault where the lottery balls are kept under lock and key and tell us about all the Americans hoping tonight is their night. If this is lottery fever. This is amazing, incredible. That's the winner. Get the votes in the house and the cars. Then millions of Americans are trying to catch it, buying lottery tickets like never before. More than 189 million Powerball tickets sold in this final rush. Thank you. Good luck. All right, thanks. Late today, the lottery director told us he's pretty sure that when the numbers are dropped this evening, the jackpot will be even higher than that 550 million, and they'll announce it at the drawing. This is amazing, incredible, never before happened here. Families who crowded mini marts and waited in endless lines, telling us they weren't just buying tickets, they were buying hope and dreams. It'd be the best thing in the world. Nobody in my family would ever have to worry about anything ever again. Uh, 927. We followed Les Sherman as he joined the multitudes outside this lottery retailer in Arizona, just across the border from California and Nevada, where Powerball tickets aren't sold. He arrived at 9 this morning. It's a quarter of 10. Been in line for 30 minutes. Uh, you probably have another good 45, 50 left. One hour. More than an hour later, Les finally buys his ticket. I'm gonna, definitely going to win. I've already spent the money, so I better win. I'm in the vault where they lock the machines. There's someone listening in on the phone. There's a briefcase holding Powerballs like these. And in just a short while, security will come in and move two of these lottery machines into the studio. At Powerball's Tallahassee studio, security is tight. There are seven surveillance cameras and two in the locked vault where the lottery machines are squirreled away. They're determined to avoid any suggestion of a fix, like the 1980 scandal in Pennsylvania where workers substituted weighted balls to rig the game. Because the integrity of the game is what is utmost important to us. The door to get in here is double locked, sealed, and alarmed. Employees who touch any of the lottery balls are required to wear gloves. So these, these have been retired, not going to be used tonight, and we were still told to wear gloves. These balls are not touched by you know, human hands, and that's to make sure that no oils or dirt or anything adhere to the, to the balls. With so many tickets sold, lottery officials tell us there's a 75% chance, Diane, that there will be a winner tonight. All right. Thank you so much, Stephen. Something really surprised us today. Did you know that right now Americans have won $800 million but never claimed it? Including those second and third place wins, by the way. So be sure to check all the numbers on your ticket. You may have only six to 12 months to cash in.